Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have an amazing video for you guys today. We are jumping into the San Diego housing market and we are looking for price cuts. San Diego is, there's a lot of price cuts happening. This is one of the areas that completely blew up during the pandemic, sending prices sky high. And now we are basically seeing those, uh, seeing those prices definitely, definitely come down. Now I have, this is Zillow and I'm gonna go ahead, I just want the whole area. Now what I have done is, I have uh, saved my search to uh, 90 days on Zillow because I want to really outline the uh, the homes that are that have been sitting in the market the longest, right? Most likely to have you know big price cuts. Now here, you know, okay, if you're not from this area, you know, prices are really gonna shock you, really, because this again, this is San Diego, okay? Like you, like a little house is gonna cost you a lot of money. Now one of the things to look at. First of all, anywhere on the beach is incredibly expensive, okay? I'm talking, you know, just we'll look, we'll go into it, but uh, obviously anything outside, you know, more inland, it's a lot, lot cheaper, but still very expensive. Now here we have the border with Mexico. You are literally on the border. If you take the highway, that five freeway, this is a, you know, very famous, highway if you take it i mean literally there's a sign that says last exit before the border you could literally end up in mexico very quickly um so it's right next to mexico guys it's pretty insane how this land is and you got chula vista down here you got san diego right here but this is all basically the greater san diego it's really nice and let's look at some price cuts now again the prices are very insane here um, and let's see what we could find. Now, Zillow will outline the price cuts on the top right here. Look, whoa, this is a big price cut. $75,000 off a $600,000 house. Now, where is it? So it's probably like, it's probably inland, obviously, because it's, uh, yeah, okay. So this is where it is. Nowhere by the ocean. Like I said, anything by the ocean, this would have an extra zero attached to it. This would probably be like six million bucks, pretty much for the same size. So for six hundred thousand dollars, you get a seventeen, almost seventeen hundred square foot home. It's fairly small. Obviously, the yard needs a little bit of work. You do get a cool-ish backyard. Houses are somewhat on top of each other, but that is the California way. You do get a little she shed. Super cool. I actually kind of like this house. Um, you know, when you're thinking about California, you you know, and you're from somewhere else, you you gotta kind of lower your standards uh, when it comes to buying a house. You know, when it comes to buying something for you know six hundred thousand dollars, because six hundred thousand dollars, believe it or not, in California doesn't get you much. But when I look at this house and I looked at its seventeen hundred square foot, I think it's actually very it's a really good price. You got a fairly new kitchen. I mean, you don't really have to touch it. You have nice floors right here. Like I said, you have a she shed in the back. You have a nice office, home office. It looks like nice floors. Uh, there's not much you probably have to do to it. Now, this is the kind of, you know, the backyard's actually kind of nice too. This is the type of situation where you're going to have to go here, drive around the neighborhood, neighborhood and see if you see yourself living here. Because, you know, this neighborhood might be okay, but it might not be for everybody. Um, it's not that far from the water, okay? That seems like that's downtown San Diego. So very interesting. And uh, again, $75,000 off. So these guys are totally motivated in selling this house. Here is $10,000 off on a $640,000 house. So 10,000 off, not that much, but you know what? Again, this house is smaller for 640, does come with a pool. I don't, you know, it looks like a decent neighborhood, so no HOA. Look at this parking job though. Here's the thing about San Diego, it's very hilly, okay? If you've ever been here, you just kind of know. So, you know, they made like a parking spot right here, very genius to basically maximize your property. Um, you know, something like that does cost a lot of money. So it's kind of nice that it comes with it. Got a little trampoline, little pool in the in the backyard. Seems like a nice neighborhood. We got mount, nice view out here in the back. Uh, pretty cool. Power lines though. Some people don't like power lines. I know, I know the feeling. Uh, bathroom looks pretty dated. Looks like it needs some work. Kitchen, 
Looks like it's livable for now. A lot of uh, cabinets, which is nice. This is actually a nice kitchen. The pool is definitely the selling point. The front yard looks really dope. Uh, I like it. Um, I mean, they could have cleaned this up a little bit. Look at this. Uh, I don't know. So it definitely needs a little bit of work. But 640000 guys, is not bad. Again, a little on the small side. But for California, it's, you know, to see houses, standalone houses for under a million bucks, it's, it's awesome. Um, if you look at more price cuts here, we have $15,000 off way out in the middle of nowhere. I don't even want to look at that. It's too hot to be out there. We got $10,000 off here close to the marina. This is actually a kind of nice one. Look, tiny though, 1,200 square foot. For, whoa, this is an expensive one. Look, $578,000 for 1,200 square feet, $10,000 off. Uh, it's uh, probably a condo, it's definitely a condo, so it's a duplex, looks like a, is it a standalone or is it a duplex? Okay, so it is a duplex, so most likely there's gonna be an HOA. Uh, inside, completely redone, uh, nice, really nice floors, open planning. The, it looks like somebody knocked some walls here at some point and made things a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, probably this used to be closed right here. This and then they opened it up. Uh, and then it shows the kitchen. Kind of nice, kind of nice. Um you know, it's kind of expensive uh for this. I mean, it's only 1200 square foot. It's kind of tiny, but it's not that bad. Let me see. It's on a main road, so it's going to be loud. So again, there's a price cut on this one, 10,000. You know, maybe that's why. Maybe it's a noisy road and it's just a little small and nobody wants to buy it. And uh, that's what we're starting to see. Look, $10,000 off. Well, this is, where is this? This is actually very priced pretty good. Okay, so this is like out in the boonies where it's hot. Uh, but look, $180,000 for 1,400 square foot is not bad, guys. This is like a starter starter home, you know? You buy it, you live on it, and then you sell it, you know, in 10, 20 years for 250, or you keep it and rent it. Oh, never mind. This is a double wide. This is not a condo. This is a trailer. Ooh, okay. I don't know about this. 180, you still have to probably pay a lease. Although they did a nice job inside, but again, they took off 10,000 off the top. They're somewhat motivated, but uh I don't know about that trailer living. 50,000 off on this one. Again, it's uh, 550,000. It's actually really close to the beach in Chula Vista. This is actually kind of nice. 2,000 square foot. Again, 750,000 though. That's a lot of money. But they did come down $50,000. So imagine what this house will be in like six months. You know, imagine if it stays on the market that long or a house in the neighborhood, we could see something, you know, probably in the 680. Okay, so what I would do is if this market, if this house if, is still in the market, like in six, uh, six three, three to six months, I would straight up offer 650,000. See what happens. You know, are they motivated? Because this could be good, 2,000 square foot to get this under 700,000 would be a steal. Kitchen is livable, but kind of needs, uh, probably needs, need some work, nothing crazy, but uh, a little bit on the dated side, you probably need to rip out that carpet. Floors look okay. Maybe it'll be nice to get new floors across the entire house, which again, you're adding, you know, 50, that's like $15,000. Um, rooms look okay. Oh man, looks nice though. Nice uh, property, nice area close to the beach. I like it. It's got a nice backyard. This is this could be nice. Again, you know, it's California, guys. And California, I know if you're living in like Texas and you look at a house for $800,000, you're like, yeah, you get a mansion. But in California, this is what basically $750,000 gets you. This could be a nice one. Uh, again, we're seeing those price cuts. We're seeing prices coming down, right? And those are all good, good signs. Here you have uh, 30,000 off on a uh, $230,000 house over here, but this is really close to the beach. Um, so there's just, there's, I'm seeing them. I'm seeing the prices coming down. If you come over to the Redfin weekly housing market data, and we have San Diego here, you can see that there's definitely a price uh, decrease over the last few months. Again, I think it's going to keep coming down. That's my own personal opinion, but that's, you know, that's definitely what I'm seeing. 
So guys, just stay positive and get ready because we are definitely coming up on some huge buying opportunities. Now, I want to say thank you to everybody who's been watching my videos and supporting my channel. Thank you so much. It really does mean a lot to me. If you're new to my channel and you like what I have to say, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and go ahead and like and leave a comment. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video.